Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In uh, this particular video, I'm going to take you through the number system conversion. And uh, for this video, we are going to look at uh, binary fraction to decimal. And uh, these are the steps that we take whenever we want to convert uh, a binary to a decimal number. And remember, for a binary, it has two digits, that is zero and one. Well, for the decimal, it has from, from uh, 0 all the way to 9. Okay, so these are the steps. So we have uh, step number 1, you write down the, the number, you write the respective place, you multiply, and lastly, you add. Okay, let's dive direct to the, to the examples that we have. Okay, so our first example, we have 111. Point one one one. So as usual, write down the number. Step two. So this is my number one 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 point one one one. Then the position. The position is always from uh, the point. So this is a zero, one, two, and uh, lastly three. This is a negative one. As you move to on the right side, it's supposed to be negative. Two and uh, lastly three. Then the place value of this one is supposed to be two raised to power to power three. While uh, this is a two raised to power two and uh, two raised to power one. Two raised to power zero. Then after the point we have uh, two raised to negative 1, 2 raised to power negative 2, and lastly 2 raised to power negative, negative 3. Okay, let's expand this one. 2 raised to power 3 is 8, well this one is a 4, and a 2, and lastly a 1. Then for this one, 2 raised to power negative 1 is supposed to give us 0.5. Well, uh, this one is supposed to give us uh, 0 0.25 and uh, the last part 0 0.125. Okay, so as you look at uh, the example that we have, we have two parts. We have the integral part that is uh, from, from the point towards the left. Then we have the friction of the fraction of part that is uh, from the point towards the, the right hand side. So this is actually let me let me let me try to differentiate it. Okay, so we have a, so that is our integral part. Well on the other side we have a, let me get another color. Well uh, this is a. This is now the other part, the fractional part. Okay, having done that, the next step is to to multiply. So we have uh, eight. We have uh, the eight. Uh, okay. Let's see how to go about it to make the work more easier. So we have uh, the integral part that is a uh, eight. So we have uh, we have uh, the eight multiplying by one plus four multiplying by one plus two multiplied by one plus one multiplied by one this is eight plus four plus two plus one which is giving us uh, a total of a total of 15. okay let's move to the fractional part that is a 0 
let me zoom in so we have a 0 0.5 multiply by by 1 plus the other part is a 0 0.25 multiply by 1 plus 0 0.125 multiply by 1 when you get uh, this one supposed to give us a this one is supposed to give us a 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.125. I hope that uh, you are following up. So when you had this one, it's supposed to give you 5 to, it's supposed to give us a 0 0.875. Okay, now on the other part, take the integral part, that is a 15 plus 0 0.825. So this one is supposed to give us a total of 15.875. 875 base 10 so this is now the answer for this question okay let's move to the next part our question 2 or example 2 we have a 0, 0 0.0 then we have the point 0 0 1 and 1 the position of this one is a definite one zero then we have a negative one negative two negative three and lastly negative four okay this one is supposed to give us a two raised to power two raised to power is a 2 raised to power 0 2 raised to power negative 1 2 raised to power negative 2 2 raised to power negative uh, 3 2 raised to power negative Okay, when you expand this one, this one is supposed to give you 1. Well, uh, this is a 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.125. And uh, these are the 1, 0 0.0625. Okay, having done that, the next step is to pick uh, the integral. Okay, so the integral part is uh, the real number multiplied by the value base time. So for the first scenario, we have uh, 0 multiplied by 1, which is going to give us 0. Okay, let's move now to the fractional part, that is uh, 0 multiplying by 0 0.5 plus 0 multiplying by 0 0.25 plus 1 multiplying by 0 0.125 then uh, plus 1 multiplying by 0 
okay so this is zero this is zero and, uh, the other part this is a uh, 125 plus zero point 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 zero six two five which is giving us a total of zero point one eight seven five okay now the value for the integral is zero plus zero point one eight seven five which is giving a total of zero point one eight five seven sorry seven five base ten so this is the final answer which is a uh, Which is supposed to give us I'll be right there the yeah, final answer here yeah. zero point one eight seven five base ten. So that's the answer for this particular question. So I think by now you have an idea or now to go about uh, the the binary fraction to decimal conversion. So in case you have any question or you require any clarification, don't hesitate to write down the question on the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as I see your question. So thank you for taking time to watch. Don't forget to like and also to subscribe. Subscribing will really help me to grow this particular channel. Thank you and bye-bye. Uh, Thank you.